In this episode, we talk about how to get the best sound with your lavalier microphone. There are five main factors that influence the overall quality of the sound that you capture with your lavalier microphone. That is, of course, the lavalier microphone that you choose to use. Secondly, the type of recorder that you use. Third, the placement of the microphone, how you manage wind, and also how you manage movement of your talent. Now, first of all, the type of lav mic that you use makes a big difference. There are two main types. One is omnidirectional pickup and the other is cardioid pickup patterns. Now, what that refers to is what areas around the microphone it actually picks up sound. Omnidirectional picks up sound from all directions. Typically, this is the type of lavalier mic you'll want to use under most conditions because it tends to have a fuller sound and picks up uh, sounds in a wider range of the overall spectrum. Now, of course, the alternative is a cardioid pickup pattern. Cardioid is a directional pickup pattern. That is to say, it only picks up noise, for the most part, from a single direction. And usually that's going to be from the top of the microphone. This is useful in cases where you're going to be working in a very noisy environment. Now there's a sacrifice that comes along with this, so while it will reject some of the ambient noise around your talent, it tends to be a little bit less effective at picking up the full uh, spectrum of sound that you can pick up. And it tends to be a little bit more focused in the mid-range, and so it tends to sound a little bit nasally. And so there is a little bit of sacrifice in the overall sound quality. But if you are working in an extraordinarily noisy environment, it could be the best choice. Where you place the mic has a tremendous influence on the overall sound that you get. Now there are a number of considerations. Typically, you want to place it on the middle of the chest, maybe a little bit upper part of the chest. Um, typically, I will attach it to the placket of a shirt if they're wearing a shirt or a lapel if they're wearing a jacket that has lapels if you're going to do it outside of their clothing. Now, there are cases where you want to do this outside their clothing, clothing and other cases where you may want to actually put it under the first layer of their clothing and these are the circumstances. So if you're doing an interview, things are moving very fast, you don't have a lot of time to set up, you may just put it on the outside of the clothing of your talent. And that's, that's totally fine. If that fits with what you're trying to do, great. Um, there are certain circumstances where you might want to hide it underneath the first layer of their clothing. Number one, obviously, if you don't want the mic to show in the frame, that's an obvious one. But there's also some other reasons you might want to do that. And the main reasons for that are, number one, if you're outside in the wind, that'll help cut a lot of the wind noise. And number two, if your actor or actress tends to have a very sibilant voice, and, a, and sibilance is when actors or actresses say the letter S or C, uh, it tends to emphasize that quite a bit and it tends to make a very annoying sound. So placing the mic underneath the shirt tends to cut down on some of that. The next factor is the recorder that you use. Now, you can connect your lavalier microphone, if you have the right one, directly to your camera. That's one option. It's not my preferred option. I actually prefer to use something like this. This is called the Zoom H1. It's a handy recorder, is what Zoom calls it. There are lots of them out on the market, so I'm not necessarily endorsing this as the best, but this is one option uh, for certain types of lav microphones. The idea is, is that lavalier, or sorry, field recorders tend to do a better job at recording a quality signal because they can record in 24-bit, which if you uh, check out some of our other lessons, you'll see why that is and why it's important to use that. I won't spend a whole lot of time about it here, but again, the main idea is if you really want to get the best sound, you probably ought to use a dedicated audio recorder versus recording directly into your camera. Now, one of the issues that often comes up if you're recording outdoors is wind. These mics are very sensitive um, and they tend to pick up wind as the wind blows across the capsule. So there are a couple of things you can do to help improve your chances of avoiding some of those noises. And the number one and probably the best option that I've found is to actually put the microphone under the top layer of clothing. Again, we've talked about that earlier. That's just a matter of putting it under the, the shirt of your talent and that tends to cut out almost all of the noise in most cases. Now, there are a couple of issues that can come across, uh, that can come with that and uh, we'll cover that in just a second. Other options, you can buy furry covers for a lavalier mic and they look something like this. They, I, I tend not to use them because they look kind of funny and <laughs> if you're not going to put it under your clothing and you're going to have one of these furry covers on, it tends to stand out and be a little bit distracting. So not my first choice, but it is an option out there. Now, a lot of lavalier microphones come with these foam covers and while in theory they should help cut down on the mildest of noise, uh, mildest of wind or the mildest of breath noises that you can pick up, 
they tend not to do a very great job, especially if there's any more than a, the slightest of breezes. So important to understand that's probably not going to be your best bet. You're probably better off taking that off. And when you put it underneath the, the clothing or the shirt of your actor or talent, um, make sure you take that wind cover or that, that foam cover off because that'll help avoid some of the noise issues that come along when your talent starts to move in the mic. Uh, moves around a little bit and may actually rub against the clothing. If you leave the foam cover on, it tends to emphasize that even more. Now, the last thing you may need to manage is your talent moving. And when your talent moves, there's always a risk that some additional noise will be added to the, the signal picked up by your microphone. So there are a few things to do. The number one and most obvious one is, if you can, talk to your talent beforehand and just sort of warn them and give them a little time to practice um, not moving around so much if that fits what you're trying to shoot. And if they move, it's okay. Um, moving their hands is good. Once they start moving their body, especially their upper body in different ways, that's where we start to run into a little bit more risk that the microphone will pick up some of those noises. So that's the first and most obvious thing. Other things you can do, there are two main product or two products out there that I'm aware of that uh, can help with this. Number one is just something you buy at your local drugstore. It's called Mole Skin or Mole Foam. And this is actually typically used for foot care, but what you can do is cut a little piece of it out, wrap it around, it has some adhesive on the back, and wrap it around your microphone before you put it underneath the clothing of your actor or talent. Another thing, a commercial product that's made specifically for this purpose is actually called the Hush Lav. It's actually made for the smaller lavalier microphones, or what are typically referred to as micro-sized. And uh, you can buy this at B&H Photo. Uh, what it does is it's, it's just a little piece of makeup foam, so that really, really soft foam, and it's cut in a cylinder uh, shape with a hole in the middle. You stick the microphone through the middle of it, and what that does is then when you put it underneath the clothing of your talent, that helps to avoid so any of the noise that you would normally pick up when the mic rubs against the clothes because now the foam is actually giving a little bit of a barrier there. Hope you found that helpful. Go ahead and leave us any questions if you have any, and we'll be sure to get back to you with some answers, and we hope to see you again soon. Yeah.